Hello and welcome to this introduction on the graph. We are going to cover the following topics. But before jumping into action, let's see what is graph database. A graph describes objects and interconnections between them. And a graph database is optimized for storing and querying these graphs. When it comes to relationships, a graph database is much faster than SQL database. And the graph is a graph database. Let's take a look at this example. We have a movie special 26. In this movie, we have Akshay Kumar as a cast. The movie is an object, has a predicate cast, and the subject is Akshay Kumar. Let's start with the setup first and head over to docs.dgraph.io. Now, when you visit the get started URL, you will see there are different uh, installation methods available, but I'm going to use the Docker image since that is the most simplest one. Make sure you have the Docker service running. Just copy this line, pulling the Docker image first, create any folder as you like. So as you can see, my folder is empty. I'm going to create a new file over here called Docker compose. Now inside this Docker compose, I'm going to add a script, which is available on getting started page. So I'm just going to copy that. So we are creating a Docker compose file over here now, but I'm going to do a little change over here. Since on my machine, the port 8080 is already occupied by something else. I'm going to change this to 8090 while the D graph is still using the port 8080 on the Docker image. So I'm just going to run this Docker compose. Once this is up and running, you will be able to see a URL at localhost port 8000. And when you visit with the latest of the options, since I have made a change, I'm just going to change the port over here. The default is 8080 and you can see it is not connecting. It's disconnected. But when you change the port to 8090, the icon should turn green now. Let's add some initial data first. I'm going to add a movie inside the mutation tab using the JSON syntax, which accepts a set keyword as a string, which needs to be passed as an array. And I'm going to add an object inside this array. This is going to be our first movie. And the movie name is Nam Shabana. Year and the cast who worked in this movie as an array of objects. I'm quickly going to add few actors over here. And let's just run this mutation now. It works. Let's just try to search for this movie that we added under the query tab. I'm going to use the Q as the query, which needs a func, which is a function. So we are going to run a function equals to, I'm going to search an exact equals to name, which means we are searching for a name which equals to Nam Shabana. And if I find this, I need to display its UID, name and year. And let's just hit this query now. Currently, the name is not indexed. Let's just quickly go to the schema and update that. For now, I'm going to use the exact as a token. Try to run the query again, and it works. If I change this queue to find movie, it will still work, which is kind of similar to the GraphQL syntax. All right, let's try to search for Akshay. And I need to display its age. It doesn't work. The reason for that is we are trying to search Akshay with an exact equal to search. We are going to update that to term and then try to search again. So we have updated the schema now. Let's go back to the console. We can change this EQ to all of terms 
and let's see what happens. Now we're able to find Akshay. Let's change this to any of terms. Let's try to search for Akshay and Tapsi together. Okay, it works. So this is the use case of the schema token term. You can also try full text, but please note out of all this, hash is the most performant of the all. So I'm going to stick with hash for now. I have found Akshay. I'm just going to search Akshay with its UID now. And just run this query again. With the UID, we can search for the given UID. All right, so let's see how to update the data with the mutation tab. But before that, let's just get the Tapsi's UID now. And let's just try to add her age. I'm still going to use the JSON syntax over here under the mutation set. And I'm going to add again an array and I'm going to pass object UID, the UID that we need to update. I'm going to add the new property over your age. And let's say this works. All right, so this is the way you can update the data on existing nodes but this was using the JSON syntax. But we can also use RDF syntax under the mutation. Inside the double curly braces, instead of using string set, we are using set, which doesn't need any colon anymore. It just needs to be followed by opening and closing curly braces. Let's add the UID. So followed by the predicate age, and the value that is 32. And make sure to end this line with a dot. Let's run this again, and it works. Let's also add few more movies over here using the RDF syntax. I'm going to add a one more movie over here, which is special 26. I'm going to use a blank identifier for this movie spec 26, predicate, and the value. You can note the spec 26, which I've used over here as a blank identifier. It is going to be just a temporary anchor during this set of run. I'm going to add a few more properties to this movie here, cast. So I have to add a UID over here of that specific cast member. We are going to come to that in a moment. Let's also add one more movie over here. Since we already know the UIDs for Aksha and Tapsi, let's just add that. But for the movie Baby, I'm going to add one more actor over here, Anupam Kher. Under the movie Baby, I'm going to add one more cast over here. So instead of using a UID, I'm going to use the blank identifier. This is available to me since the blank identifier is declared over here already. All right, let's try to run this mutation now. The input UID, I'm getting an error. The reason for that is whenever you are adding UIDs, you have to make sure you're not passing them as strings, but inside arrows like this. Let's try to run this again. Let's try to search for the new actors that we have added. I'm going to go to the query, update the function over here. Let's just call this as find actors. So I'm going to find all the actors. I'm going to use the function. This time I'm going to use the special function has. So we know all the actors, they have one property common that is age. And let's say this works. I'm going to display their UID name and let's run this. So we, we are able to search all the actors cause they have one common property age. With dgraph, we can also search with the types. So let's head over to schema and define those types. Click on add type. So I'm going to select age and name and define it 
as actor. As well, I'm going to add a type movie. Try to search with the type. I'm just going to give it a function name as find type. I'm going to search by type. Let's search for all the actors and run. Nothing happens. The reason for that is we did not update the data. First of all, we'll need the UIDs of the actors. So let's just first search for the actors. And I'm going to update this actors type UID dgraph dot type and the type name. In our case, it is going to be actor. Try to run this. All right, we have added this mutation. Let's do the query again. And it works. Let's also add the types movie for the movies that we have added previously. And let's query the movies by type. And it works. As well, now we can also use something called expand all. So rather than typing all this again and again, we can simply type expand all. So expand all will expand all the keys specified on this specific type. Let's just run this. And you can see it is giving us name, UID and year, but it is not working for the cast. Normally, if you would type name and cast, and if you run this, you would see that cast is still not working. To make cast working, you have to add opening and closing curly braces and pass the name, then it would work. So in a same way, to fix the expand all, we have to tell the expand all function that you expand all and then again you would expand all. And let's just try to run this now and it works. Let's check some filters now. The earlier expand all could be rewritten with a filter called recurse like this. And with recurse, you have to also specify the depth. The maximum allowed is four. I'm just going to stick with two and it will find each and every keys and expand them all. And let's try to run this and it works. Let's search for movies which released after year 2016. Now, if I add a filter over here, I need to search all the movies which are released after year 2016. I'm going to use one more function over here, greater than, I have to specify the key year and search them by 2016. And let's just run this. We have to make year indexable. I'm going to use index and make it exact search. Run this again. All right, so we find one movie which was released after year 2016. Now I need to find the movies which were released before 2016. We can use less than and try to run this, we get this. Now, let's say we have to search for a movie which was actually released during the year 2016. And we get Naam Shabana. With filters, we can also search for movies which has two cast members. Okay, so we can use the equal to operator again. And this time we are going to use another function inside EQ that is going to be count. So we have to count the number of cast which are equals to two. And let's just display the name of that movie. And you'll see Nam Shabana again, which has Akshay Kumar and Tapsi Pano. We can display the cast members again over here and run. 
in the same way we can display less than so if any movie has less than two cast members it will be displayed over here all right let's try something more interesting search for akshay kumar and search for the movies in which he was part of the cast so we are searching for akshay kumar okay and i'm just going to pass the uid which i copied from here paste it here and rather than using filter we are just simply going to search akshay with a uid over here now and let's try to run this okay we find akshay but we are not able to find the cast right of course cause cast is not a key is not a part of the key which is inside akshay kumar right so we have to find a reverse search over here so in a way we are what we are trying to say over here is we have to find akshay where he was used as a cast so in the search table go to the schema and we have to make the cast as reverse and now go to the console and we have to add a special character over here tilda and let's try this again now and it works awesome so now we know the movies in which akshay kumar has worked let's search for the movies in which tapsi panu has worked so and i know the tapsi panu's uid and just going to add it over here and run this query so now we know uh, these are the movies where tapsi has worked but what if i have to find the movies in which akshay kumar and tapsi panu has worked together so we are going to introduce variables so whatever i have type i'm going to keep it but i'm going to introduce the query with the var and i'm going to wrap this query with a variable name of my choice so i'm going to call that variable as movies tapsi so these are the movies in which tapsi was there and i'm going to, i'm going to collect all the uids I'm going to copy paste this find all the movies where akshay kumar has worked the uid of akshay kumar I have another query over here i'm going to name that query as movies together find all the uids of tapsi panu followed by a filter uid and uid accepts the movies from akshay and let's just display their names over here and try to run this and it works so these are the two movies in which akshay and tapsi has worked together now let's check pagination so i'm going to find all the movies so these are going to be paginations so i need first one movies because we have very few movies all right so we have one let's say i want first two movies from the result we get that we can also define movies in an ascending order and ascend them by name let's run this and click on the json tab you can see they are ascended and if i type order descending they will be in the descending order let's do the same thing so let's say i want first two movies in descending order let's say i want all the movies after naam shabana so i can just copy this and say after and pass it over here same way we can do the ascending and descending over here and it will work fine and thanks for watching stay tuned for more videos over and out bye bye